Hi there, today we're unboxing a Wi-Fi camera. So this particular camera is by a company called Meko and details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. Comes in a nice small box. Details on there regarding it. it's a 1080p camera, two-way audio, uh, takes a micro SD card, and there's some basic details about it there. Okay, so let's move along. Just some pictures and specification there. Supports 2.4G Wi-Fi. And that's it. Let's open it up, see what we get. Okay, so let me show you the camera. Gray on each side and black going all the way down. If I take the actual cover off here and just come in close if I can. You've got a SD card, so a micro SD card slot there and a reset button and the actual lens. And if I come just under here, that's where the power goes in to power it. And the base clip here. So obviously that can be screwed onto something and then you could just lock it into place like so. So there is a particular way of putting this in, depending on these. So I'm guessing it's this way, is it? Yep. And then you just spin it and it locks into place. Okay, let me show you the dimensions of this camera. So quite a nice compact camera there. So in terms of height, we're talking about nine and a half. Width is around six. Okay, just to show, you also get a 3M sticky pad and this is for the actual base. So you could just stick that straight onto there and stick it into position. So if you had it in a t on a table, for example, it's just stuck on and it doesn't easily slide about or move. Okay, so next, let's get the app installed. So looking at the instructions in here, there's an app called Cloud Edge. So I've got my Android phone here, go to the Play Store, Let's type in Cloud Edge. Okay, and I'll click install. Okay, so now the app's installed. Let's click open. Okay, and let's register an account on here. So sign up and I'll put in my details. So let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've completed entering my details and that's the first thing I'm presented with. So allow Cloud Edge to access photos, media, and other files on the device. Click allow to that. Location and take pictures and record video. Okay, so menu wise, got menu there. This is what I'm presented with. So I want to add a new device and it's a camera. Next thing is we want to power the camera on. So take it. And with the cable, we'll just place that. Like so. The other end, like this. Okay, and I've got a micro SD card here, 64 gig, and we'll insert that as well. So it goes in this location and like so okay and i'll just plug in the camera now red light comes on okay put that down give it a moment and let me just position it here get the app there Okay. Please configure the wireless settings for camera. Okay, so it's ready to accept configuration and the red light's flashing. And the device has flashed red slowly or you hear a tone. So, yeah, I've got that. Please turn on Wi-Fi and GPS, okay. So I'll turn on location services. And next I've got to type in my Wi-Fi password. So let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've entered my Wi-Fi password. Let me click next. Okay, so it says remove the protective film off the camera. And next I'm going to be presented with a QR code on here. And that needs to be scanned in by the camera. So let me just click next off camera. And I've got my QR code 
on my phone now. See if I just hold it over. Okay. Connecting to wireless network. I've just clicked next. Connected to network successfully. There you go. Very quick. Position this. Okay, so I've renamed the camera to just be called camera. And if we click here, we can go into it. Now, initially you're presented with this. If I click here, you can hear what's going on around the camera. You've got picture quality wise, standard definition and HD. That's what standard definition is, slightly lowering the quality. And then let's click it again, HD. Okay, if we move down, You've got the bit rate, so that's the transfer rate on there, and the Wi-Fi connectivity strength. Okay, and then you've got live history and cloud. If I click screenshot below that, it will take a screenshot. Intercom, if I hold on to that, you can speak into your phone and it will send it out onto the camera. If I hit record, it starts recording. Okay, motion detection, that's on at the moment. So I can turn it off. So if there's any motion detection, you get alerted. PTZ, so this is quite cool. Just to show, you can move the camera around, up, down, and all the way around if you wanted to as well. Okay, so next, if I click history, you've got calendar here, and you can click on different dates, and you can see the recording. So that's already been recorded here. You can take a screenshot from here, initiate record from here, and alarm recording so that gives you a history of what's happened so motion detected that time and that time as well okay if i now click on cloud there's no cloud services set up but it is available for this obviously there's going to be a charge for that let's go back to live and then if i click here you can see details about how you set this up receive alarm so it will send it set up to receive alarm onto the phone if any activity is sensed, you can share it with other people. This is the cloud storage, internet information, SD card. Okay, rotate view. So if you place the camera upside down, you can spin it around to see it in a different way. LED, so you can turn the LED off. So if you had it in a room, make it less obvious that it's there. Motion detection, sensitivity levels on that night vision it's automatic but you can turn it off so that can be quite useful if you placed it near a window and there was light outside now if the night vision kicked in you would just see a reflection of the leds coming onto the camera so if you can turn it off that's quite good then it will see what's outside but it is an indoor camera just to note that okay sound detection that's quite good so if there's any noise it can pick it up and you'll get an alert a very useful functionality I'm seeing recently coming into effect. Normally it's just motion detection, not sound, so it's good to have that. Okay, so playback settings and event recording. So what this means is that if there's an event like a motion detection, that's the only thing that will be recorded, and these are the intervals that will be recorded, one, two, or three minutes. Okay, next one is sleep mode. So you've got lens on, lens off, privacy schedule, so set a repeating period to disable recording and playback. And geofencing, the phone goes into the camera to sleep. Okay. And version, so it looks like it's already for a firmware update. Okay, and that's it. That's all the options you've got. There's a delete button here if you don't want to use the camera and remove it. If I go back, you've got messages here. So alarm messages, system messages, friends. So you can share the camera with other people. It's my details there. And that's it, simple as that. Let's click here just to show this. That's the camera motion detection and cloud service not open. So that's if you wanna, if you click that, you'll get the free seven day trial. Simple as that, easy to set up and to configure.
Okay, so the next thing to show is when there's motion detected, this is how the alerts come through. Alarm message, motion detected on camera, and you get a message on your phone like so. Okay, now with this running, let me connect to it. It's on my Wi-Fi at the moment. So let me just show it going on to 4G. Okay, 4G is active now. Looks like it's connected. Nothing's happening, let's go out a second, go back in. And there you go, it's connected. Just heard it move as well. Let's give it a moment. Okay, a lot of lag on that. Let's try again. So it's moving very quickly. There's no issues with that. It's just the lag catching up. So it does work remotely and no need to open any ports on your router to access it like this. Let me also show another view on this camera. So if I go like so, so you can go into this mode of viewing as well. So you can see more of the picture. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Wi-Fi camera. Easy to set up and configure. 1080p quality picture and remote connectivity. Has motion detection built in as well, so any motion detected will be recorded. And it will alert your phone as well. The only thing I found lacking in the device is connectivity to smart tech. So things like Google Home and the Amazon Alexa. No big deal if you're not after that sort of functionality, but just a thing to keep in mind. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.